Um, we're here because we're having problems with our water in Franklin Forks. Um, our well is erupting. Erupting with them? Erupting. Oh. I have a video. <laughs> 15 foot circle around the well then of water. It does it sometimes three or four times a day. If you shut the water off at the faucet, it'll do it within a couple hours, maybe three. You have to leave the water running all the time. Right next to where they store the boats across the street from Smith's home. The yellow house. DEP was there today. DEP was there today and tested two more houses uh, right there they across the yeah. yeah, mine and theirs. And uh, they tested the methane levels on the outside. Uh, that container where Lemon's mine was 10% methane. Uh, today it was 26% methane and it keeps escalating. And ours escalated as well. The first time they tested our well, um, it was back in December, and it was at 38.9, which is really, really high. It's only supposed to be between, I guess, between 5 and 10. It's flammable. Um, ours is 38.9 in December, and today when they measured it, it was at 68. What was yours today? 26. 26. It's jumped 15% since January 11th. Uh, we're still getting a black in the water and yellow water, a lot of methane in the house now. It's getting worse. Um, there's a lot of there's a lot of problems there and nobody seems to want to take responsibility for it. They keep blaming a hole that's been drilled and then plugged in the band in 110 years ago that it's migrated. Uh, I don't see that happening. There's been a lot of problems in that area after the frack of, of the pew. Uh, I've heard stories of bad casing. I've heard stories of when the conduit was put in the hole, uh, they're not welding the conduit together as they're putting it in the hole like they should be. Uh, they're depending on concrete to hold it, it and it will not. We're told there's methane in the area. Yes, that's true, but not to the point there is now. I have lived in my home 14 years now and up until November, I could drink my water. I won't even feed it to my dogs now. <laughs> yeah, what about the neighbors? Which neighbors? Uh, the problem is, uh, we have 150 to 175 foot well. They have 150 to 175 foot well. Everybody around us is either spring or driven. They're using shallow. We're using the deeper aquifer. Um, You're the only two in the foot. Well, you know, see, now I got a problem too. <laughs> yeah, it's more than that. It's Mine started awesome. back in April, so that's why I had my water tested. And uh, I have snacks, <coughs> some sulfur snow, which everybody's has had. Um, we didn't have it. That's one of the reasons I got it tested. The it started back in April. The uh, water in about. April, May, May, it started getting cloudy. That's when we, I think we actually had the test done. Uh, the black stuff that's coming out of the water, I've been having that since April, May, June. My well is 135 deep. We had to put it in 96, so we were the ones that had that drilled. Uh, and we still have the black stuff. It just, it comes, it's like grit, looks like sandblasting sand. Uh, when, the, when it dries, yeah, when it's it wet, it, it is it's a sludgy Slim, gum. It's, slimy, it's really yeah. slimy. I've replaced the faucet already in my kitchen sink because it plugs it up. <laughs> That's where, where are you in relation to them? I'm a uh, high tech collision, so we're right out here at the end of the road here. Okay. So yeah. Now as soon as you 
uh, all of our, what really got my attention was when you couldn't take a shower because it plugged up everything. Uh, I guess one day it came a whole bunch of it at once, I guess, I'm assuming. But it clogged up the, all the uh, bathroom fixtures, so nothing was coming out. It was like trickling. The shower, so That's I ended up just taking it off, dumping it out, all the grit, and cleaned it all out. Threw away the water savers, so now I don't have water savers. And uh, now it's not been catching it as much, but now for the shower, you notice it when it hits the shower, because when you're taking it like a shower or whatever in the tub, all the little roughness, it catches the black stuff. So then you wipe it out. I just got rid of it. Just, just, just keep next shower or whatever. Next time you run, it'll wash that down. The new stuff will be there. <laughs> Usually when it gets so cold, we have to leave the water in the kitchen to run so that it doesn't freeze. Um, we haven't had to. I had a uh, pressure switch go bad on a cold day, and I was afraid it was going to freeze, and it did not freeze. Matt, back here, my neighbor across the street, he had a bottle of uh, water to his kitchen outside in 19 degree weather. It was there all night long, but mm -hmm. not that much water, ice in the bottom of it. That was it. 19 degree weather, a soda bottle with water that you can have this much ice in the bottom of it. Mm -hmm. Something is in there. See, now the other thing is, since I've been doing state inspections on people's cars, my other property down there, two, two houses back on the other side of the road, on the same side of the road, they're having black in it. The uh, house coming back which way? So across the street. Yeah, across uh, the way. Or yeah, the Sheston Road. Shesky. Up there, a couple of houses, they're starting to have some issues. So it's starting, I don't know what the, don't know what it is, don't know what is causing it. It's just, there could be a potential for a major issue. Mm -hmm. you know, right now, it's like, okay, uh, the only run that's really major, I guess, is her well that's really blowing out. I mean, well, there's, there are some stuff, there are some elevated uh, chemicals that are there. Uh, barium shows. now, can barium. That's, that's a whole other topic, because the barium level in my water when it was tested was originally at 73. Now, from the last time I heard, it's at 830. It went up 800% in three months. I'm okay. waiting. What is that? Barium. 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 We also have high barium. Barium will cause cancer in 20 very years. Very elevated. Arsenic. Arsenic. Uh, the allowable level of arsenic, I believe, if I read correctly on the internet, is uh, 0 0.10 parts per million. Theirs is 3.0. That's a real high. You know? So the, I guess the question becomes is if, if, the, if the shit hits the fan, <laughs> how, how, what are we going to do for, are we going to be like Dimmick with water buffaloes in this town, or what, what do we do at that point? But not everybody can, can replace their well or uh, has, has the opportunity to have a spring on their property. I mean, yeah, it can be done, but if somebody causes a problem, I think they should fix it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. How do you fix that, though? You can't. I don't you think can't. Can't. Williams would be responsible. They can't fix it. So I think I the only option you, now how is are you to gonna stop get, it all. How are you going to get barium out? You can't. You, you, can. you can't. It's you a can't. heavy metal. So I think maybe all the drilling needs to stop until they figure out how to do it correctly. I got so much methane right. in my well, you can't even use my stove to cook. I got three grandkids that live with me in my house. I, I feel sorry for those people right there. They I don't know what I'm supposed furnace. to do. Because I just bought that house a year ago, and now I'm stuck with it. Jerry and I went to visit them last Thursday, and I was burning just leaving the house. The last thing I want is my grandkids being exposed to chemicals mm -hmm. and not being able to enjoy this property and the environment and everything else and mm -hmm. grow up the way they should grow up around here. Well, that's not even, like, there was an accident in, a, in front of our home last, not yesterday, but the Monday before, and we're concerned because there's a, a an electrical pole right at, at the end of our driveway. Yeah. The guy hit that electrical pole, which kind of veered him off and into the mailboxes. If that pole was not there, he would have sent our, my daughter's Jeep into that well. The well is between the driveway and our house. So, I mean, it's I don't know, feet from my house. as explosive it, as it is, who else in the neighborhood is in danger also? Is there an investigation going on with DEC or EPA? Yes. Or? They are, and they were at our house again today and retested, and 
again. Does WPX have a policy in place? Or? Um, I've spoken to um, Scott Harriman. I think that you folks have met. Some of you may have met him. Um, Aronian, Scott, um, or Tyson? Yes. Okay. And you know what? I, I, I'm embarrassed to say I know names, but I don't know names or faces. If you could tell me who you are, so I'm making sure I'm writing the right notes on the right people. But Matt and Tammy Manning. Okay, that's what I thought. I'm Scott Henry. Okay. Okay. Little Paps. Okay. Okay. Um, I I'd be happy to talk to you after and uh, find out more information. But um, BP is telling us the same thing that they're telling you at this point. Which is what. Which is that they're saying it's a natural or uh, well, well, that, if I may, if I, may I, don't mind. I have lived I, in my house 13 years. That hole's been plugged for 110 yeah. years. Come on. Nobody's well, had if, I, if I may, I, I've spoken to a DEP attorney and they have not come to any conclusion as to whether or not it's naturally occurring. And uh, knowing something about the science, there needs to be a further study to determine the chemical composition of the, of the substances that are coming out into the water and to determine the age of the water. And that has not been done. And until the scientific study is done, um, you, you know, we, we can't say it's not coming from that well. And we can't, and we can't say it's naturally occurring because if, 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 if people took the time, and I, I don't mean the folks here per se, but if people took the time to look at the historic levels of, of, of naturally occurring substances in this area, they would know that the levels that these people are speaking about today are not in the norm. They are not ambient conditions within the aquifer. That's clear. We know one well has failed. One of the problems here is the state can't take action because apparently one of the wells, and we have not yet mapped this out ourselves, one of the wells is not within a thousand feet of, of these homeowners' potable water supply wells, so they cannot benefit from the presumption that the well has caused the contamination. But I, I haven't seen any evidence that the industry who is involved with drilling these wells has done any science or any investigation. Oh, and the D name, sir? I'm sorry, my name is Bill Dubinavich. Yes, sir. D U B A N E V I C H. Do you live in Franklin Township, sir? No, I do not. Do you live in Susquehanna? No, I do not. Uh, are you how? Who are you, ma'am? I'm sorry. Uh, Tara Holly, Government Affairs Representative for WPX Energy. I was just asking how you knew, had so much information. I've been doing it. I've, I've been following it and been doing an investigation and research. Are you a scientist? No, I'm not. Are you, ma'am? No. no. What's, what's your background, ma'am? I'm an attorney. Okay. Uh, so am I. I just, yeah, I just want to. Do you practice in Susquehanna? I practice uh, in throughout the United States, including oh. Susquehanna County. Okay. Pleased to meet you. Likewise. Thank you. Well, if anyone would like to give me your name, numbers, I can give you my card and we can and, go for it. And but may I add, too, one thing people have to be concerned about is with the, with, with the substances in the water. Um, ex while, may I continue? This is really specifically for Franklin Township residents. If you want to speak, we can put you on the agenda for next month. I'm sorry. Okay, very. I just wanted to give some information about Are what... Are you soliciting business here? No, ma'am, I am not. I didn't know if that was something that you allow at your township meetings. I'm not soliciting business, sir. Okay. Um, do you have a website or something we can point people to? Yes. Uh, there is There's the EPA website, which identifies exposure pathways to uh, the substances that were discussed today. It talks about how exposure uh, via showering um, it presents uh, uh, problems to the substances that are being detected in water. By the part by Pennsylvania Department of Environmental mm -hmm. Protection. Mm -hmm. um, so there's a lot of websites. Uh, I can tell you the uh, the Center for Disease Control has a website, the National Institute of Occupational Safety and Health. It's NIOSH.gov. It's CDC.gov. 
epa.gov. And then once you're in those websites, you can simply do a search for barium and exposure pathways for, with respect to showering. You can, you can look at arsenic in there and you can get free information which, which discusses the health effects and health impacts. There's also another website called EWG, environmentalworkinggroup.org, or EWG.org. That's, of course, www.ewg.org. And, and those websites, well, and there's many, many more, but those websites offer some real good information on, on, um, on uh, the types of chemicals and substances that the Pennsylvania Department of Environmental Protection has identified. And, and you could also go on to uh, Appalachia.com, www.appalachia.com. What area of law do you practice in, may I ask you? I'm sorry, ma'am? What area of law do you practice I, in? I'm in I've been, I practice many areas, and I specialize in environmental law. And in class action suits? Uh, well, class action suits is not necessarily a specialization. No, I know it's not. I just asked. Well, it, it all depends on the, on this, on the situation. Did, did one of our residents ask you to attend tonight? Yes. Okay. It's definitely a serious issue. It's, uh, it's in my kind of only kind of in, I'm in the dark like you guys, but I sure will continue on and get to uh, run my own personal life. It's getting monotonous having to go to the artesian well every two to three days to get water. Yeah. It really is. I'll just make a comment. If you want to go online, they did a 10-year study out in Wyoming where they did natural gas drilling and the fracking process, and the study just wrapped up, and there's great consequences to the fracking process. It, it destroyed a lot of the aquifers out there in Wyoming, but it was a 10-year study, so they just now got the results. So if you want to go online, and you can look it up yourself and read the results of that. Um, it's like an ugly monster, but uh, yes, it is. And, uh, okay. and you know, with a ten-year study, you don't know. There's a lot of studies to that study because they use the methods that they use for fracking is not what's used in Appalachian Basin, and the uh, topography and the stone is exceptionally different. There's, so there are contra studies to that study. Yeah, I'm sure there's countless variables. And, I mean, even just from one site to the next site within right. Susquehanna County. So. <laughs> you see, you are, are or aren't allowing non-residents. I live about 200 yards to the west, signed at the west next to Nancy Davies house, we're the first two houses in Silver Lake Township on Craig Stevens. Um, last Friday, the 24th, I got a call from the Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission, who I had called to go up on my property. When Laser installed the pipeline up there, they had, they caused some pretty severe damage. Um, DEP was up there four times and told me there was absolutely nothing wrong. Nothing had been done. It was obvious you could see it, but I'm not an expert. I got the fish and boat to come, and they're very strapped, so it took them about three weeks to come and see me. Um, they called me last Friday and said that they had just finished collecting fines from Laser. Uh, they, gave, they, they put five criminal charges against them. These aren't civil. Criminal. Okay. I'm not beating up on Laser. I'm just telling you the response. DEP was zero response. They refused to admit there was anything wrong on the property. I just got this. Uh, they told me about it on Friday. I asked Freedom of Information on Monday. Three days later, I was sent this packet of information. Um, very telling is the last, a very short page. Please be advised that this correspondence will serve to close this record without office as permitted by law. Because the state agency has settled with the company, I asked them if they could check my creek because there's still a lot of drilling mud in it. I'm, I'm right there at Laurel Creek where they had the blowout eight times in my, back, in my backyard starting July 29th. Um, that means that he said, no, we cannot do anything regarding any of the areas where we just find them and charge them. But he said the DEP has done the same thing. They're charging, they're fining them, and they're collecting money. I said, that's interesting. How are they doing that when they said there was nothing wrong on my property four times in a row? 
There's a $20,000 check right there that, that was collected by Fish and Boat. Fish and Boat is a law enforcement agency, and I asked them why they file criminal charges. They said we get paid a lot faster when we cr file criminal charges than we file civil charges. But here's the write-up, and it talks about Laurel Lake Creek, Silver Creek. Every one of these creeks that, that they damaged lead right into Salt Springs Park. By the way, my grandmother was born on Salt Springs Park in 1912. My father started Friends of Salt Springs Park, Lloyd Stevens. And I have five generations of my family buried in the cemetery that's here in town in Brookside. So I'm, I'm not a neighbor. <coughs> I don't live here, but I live pretty close to the edge. I'm very concerned. I watch this. I'm Bradford County is far enough away. Demick is 15 miles away. Mm -hmm. Now I'm hearing about water issues two miles from my house. Uh, I'm not, I'm, I'm, as much as I can fight it, I'm not allowing my sixth generation wet water well that's at my property. Um, I'm the 180 years we've been on the same corner there to go bad. But I'm not stupid. I will probably buy a water buffalo and plumb it into my uh, pump just in case I need to do what the people in Demick are doing and needing to have water delivered every day. So my concern is it's the same answer. From what I understand, even though Cabot is fighting it now, the minute they, the day they were called about problems in Demick, they brought water buffalo on a rollback truck and made sure that their the people had safe water, clean, safe water to drink immediately. That's what I would ask any company that's in the area. Would not re, not saying they're admitting any liability, but as a good neighbor policy, I'm just hearing about how many hundreds of thousands of dollars for fixing the roads were done. I would imagine it's four hundred and fifty dollars, it, ma'am. It's four hundred and fifty dollars down at. Uh, down at Tractor Supply to get a water buffalo would probably cost $150 to plumb it to somebody's house. And I, I right now am responsible for having water delivered to five families in Demick that are not being serviced by the uh, EPA. Because I don't know about you folks, but I'm not getting involved in their lawsuit. And I'm not saying who's lying or not. But when neighbors of mine, even 15 miles away, don't have potable water and there's children in the house, then I buy a truck, like I did, I get a water source, and I get water delivered to those people and I pay for it every day. We have donations coming in from all over the world. But if, we, if, if they're not going to take care of us, take care of ourselves. Be neighbors. Be good neighbors. Mm -hmm. And don't point your fingers at neighbors and tell them they're causing problems because they have a problem. Let's all support each other because if we don't, if we do not support each other, then we're lost. I mean, you're, you're, you're done. That's, that's how you do it. You build the barn when it burns down. You help build the barn. Do whatever you can. But that all we have as a community is being a community. And I don't want to be pointing fingers at any company or any individuals. I just want to help whoever needs it. I'm here to help, too, if anybody needs any information. If they get a water buffalo in themselves, we'll figure out how to get your water until somebody steps up and takes responsibility for it. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Anybody else? Do you have any closing comments? No, just that I um, certainly uh, have cards here. You can um, get them for me. I can take your phone number. I can share your information with our folks and um, are you going to be more receptive to listen to everybody than the guy sitting in the office up there says well it's natural here and that's all there is to it from DEP no saying that? in the WPX office in Montrose and who would that I don't know who you're talking there about there was a so. fella one of the one of the fellas that's up there I don't remember his name now because I talked to him back in January he said, that's the way it is and he gave me some scenario that he lives here and he's got almost the same problem where he lives um, I don't give. I don't care about his problem. I have a problem that I've never had before. Like I said, I've lived in this house 13 going on 14 years. Be 14 years in September. I've lived in this house, and up until November, I could drink my water. I can't now. We need. To, we need to have somebody that's going to talk to us and try to do something for us. Not tell us, oh, it's geological, whatever. We don't need that. We need somebody that's going to help us. Somebody caused the problem. Somebody needs to fix it. That's right. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. I am not against the gas industry at all. Amen. None whatsoever. None. It's but just all too funny problems. that everything happened all at once. <laughs> all of a sudden, right. everything's got, everybody's got that's problems. All I work in the gas industry needs. every day. You tell me. I know a lot of the problems that go on at a lot of these sites. I know how they're fixed. Okay? And I've been told what ones are wrong and what ones have problems. I can tell you one right now, the one on his family's farm. What do you do with 9,800 pounds per square inch of gas pressure at a wellhead? 
Where's that pressure going? When you cannot let it off into the atmosphere, held for days until it can be burned off. That's 9,800 pounds up here on the surface. You've got 10,000, 11,000, 12,000 feet below the surface. How much pressure is there? Think of an air compressor. You got a half inch hose, 100 foot friggin' hose. You got 125 pounds of compressor at the compressor. What do you got out here at the end? 95? 100 maybe? Mm -hmm. Billy, you would know. <laughs> Depends on how much you're choking. Where's this pressure going to go? Where's it going to go? It's got to go somewhere. I think it's going in the aquifer. My number, you call me, and when I get back, I'm going back Thursday night. And I will call my people tomorrow. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah, basically, I'm basically not telling you to stop drilling, but at the same time, when the, when something happens, this person needs water. <coughs> when our neighbors all start making need of water, uh, what are we going to do? That's the main thing. Mm -hmm. You know, we get a bunch of water trucks to start delivering water and put put on your budget, making just. Say, hey, we need this much money for bringing water to the families, because that's about how you're going to get it. Until, in, unless you're going to run water lines down and start putting maybe like Who wants tongue water? water? Yeah. Who wants that terrible taste and shit? You might be stuck with What the hell can I tell you? <laughs> oh, I just want to know who's that. running the water lines. <laughs> and where are you going to drill if that's not screwed yeah. up? What well. happens to the property values when yeah, there is no water? Sure. Nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. 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 All of our retirements are worth You can't do anything with that house. 200 down the water. Yeah. That's yeah. not bad, is it? No. Yeah. Yeah. You're, you're basically, your, your, your property is worthless because you don't have a decent water supply. Yeah. You can't, you can't sell, sell it. it. You can't yeah. run it. Yeah. You, you guys would know. Absolutely. Yep, because we were told the same thing, naturally occurring. Yeah, naturally occurring. We've been here yeah. after three and a half naturally years Naturally occurring. Okay, naturally, naturally occurring. occurring. Why did Cabbage decide yeah, they were to the settle? Because DEP told them to? Because they, oh. broke, they broke the law. Okay. Exactly. They know it. <laughs> the bad news is we could have a potential issue bigger than we believe here today. Yes. And I know already about... Uh, a good eight to ten customers of mine we get this conversation going because they have a well getting drilled right across the street. So that brought up a lot of conversation while that tower was up. And I have a lot of people tell me they have, they're having minor issues. Little this, little that. The same thing with black and white. What that is, I, I'm having it tested. I may know here in another couple months or a month whenever they get done testing what that black crap is. I'll be able to let you know. But... It, there's a potential for a major issue. Sure there is. For those of you that don't have a problem, uh, I suggest you get your water tested mm -hmm. now so you have a good it only, seems right. to be, it only seems to be affecting drilled wells right now. But that's right now. That's this, right now. This is all yeah. over the place. It could but happen anywhere to anybody. Yeah. But that, that's recommended anyhow. That you well, see, not, but see, we're not, we're not close. We're not in the, in the zone. We're not within that thousand foot. Well, I'm, not, I'm not in a zone where we got a well next to us. They said, hey, go get it tested. And we've been okay. there 20 years in our yeah, we've had it tested before. Yeah, 19 years. And we had it tested years ago, but it was more of a portability test. The good news is, uh, thanks to the, the sulfur that we have in our area that, that I didn't have, uh, I had my water tested early on with a very good test result. So I have an excellent test. They said some of my water is some of the best water they've seen. Uh, the second test result doesn't look quite so good. <laughs> okay, so you, you do have a baseline test to go from? Uh, it's a pre post drilling pre frack. Nothing was fracked in the area when that test was done. Okay. So thanks to the sulfur in our area migrating and some of the stuff I had an early on test before anything was fracked. And the only reason I got it tested is because I started having an issue. Uh, that's that's plain and simple. I mean, you know, my guys were complaining about it. I heard all they do is tease you but all day long, going, ah, yeah, I gotta wash cars with this stinky water and all this stuff. So since we're atomizing it and washing cars with it and spraying it and you're doing it in an enclosed building, the, the smells started having issues and, and, and it leaves a white film too if you don't wipe it down. Yeah, it it's, really it's, it's just it's like on top of the water too. Yeah, yeah. It, it looks sometimes, but it comes and goes. Things, it's weird. It's like it's there and it's not. Yeah, it's, it's different. The smell levels, and it don't even smell like sulfur. Sulfur, it has a funky 
Dirty Yeah, dirty yeah. 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 I just don't think it'd be wise to yeah. let this situation yeah. escalate into another yeah. demic because that's going to yeah. it'd be too much. Yeah. We, it it needs now. to be taken care of. Yeah. Well, that's where the DEP, they told us, John Hanger, the former secretary, I accused him, I said, where were you guys? We begged and begged for somebody to come down and help us. And this was like a year and a half later. He says, you can, you can put all that responsibility on me. He says, I take the full blame for, for it. I said, you guys should have nipped it in the bud. Then maybe you only have a couple families here instead of 20. And he said, you can blame me for the whole thing. But where is he now? Working for the gas industry. How many calls did he get? Real quick. Laser, didn't, laser doesn't drill holes in the ground. They bored behind my property. They tested my water for free now three times before they started the project, during the project when they did the blowout, and now after they completed it for nothing. These are probably $1,200 tests mm -hmm. each time. That, and that has nothing to do with drilling a well. They were that concerned to make sure that we were all, anybody near it, not just having on my property. My house is not where they put the pipeline, my 115-acre property by the motocross track is, but... Uh, 150 yards behind my house is, is there. So uh, that's my question is if I had to pay for this, that's $3,600 worth of tests I would have done. And my question is being in the water quality business myself, filtration and purification, I've been doing for 20 years. How often do you have a test? If you have it tested today and get the results and it looks great, how do you know it doesn't change tomorrow? None of us know that. Effectively, you'd have to have the water tested every 90 days just to be safe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if you want a real cheap way to do it, get a TDS meter. You can get it. I, I have one. Yeah, and, just and, and, TDS, total dissolved solids. That's and right. when you drop it in the water, it'll show a number, 100 or 150. If something happens, that number will skyrocket up, and you can test it every day. In the morning now, I run a clear glass of water, and I throw it in there. It's about 150, it says on it. But if it jumped up to 300, 400, 500, 1,000, you know something's changed within that next day. That's the quickest way to get a real quick litmus, litmus test if you're having it. And now all that does is mean the solids are going up in the but water. But does your results stay high? Because mine, I've been testing it because I have one of them meters. Right. And it comes and goes. No, I've had, I've it's had settling. Numbers. It's settling. 300. Right. It hits 500 and drops back down to three. It settles. What it's reading is what's current, what's right in front of it. But it will settle at the bottom. So you do it. You run it for a little bit. Put it no. in the glass. It's no. just a quick, easy thing to be able to do every day because right. nobody My can point afford. Was that you don't, that's not going to document anything. That's doesn't it's document. Just right. lets you know if there's a change. But right. we get a baseline test. Why should we? My question is why should we be paying for it? I mean, I'm looking at this process. They they put neat pictures on the. Web you can look at down eight to ten thousand and sideways about eight thousand about a mile mile and a half. Well, why do they all, why do we all have to provide water testing for the people within a thousand feet of that hole? That that's concerning to me. If I'm going a mile this way under underground, who knows where which direction? Why would I only be responsible if I put the hole in the ground to to, to do a thousand? Because that's a rule on the books. That's fine. Mm -hmm. But I, my thing is you take a. You take a circle and you draw it a mile and a half round wherever the drill bit's going. They know where it's going. And go out to the people and go, hey, we're drilling over there, but we think it might be coming in your way where we're doing it. Why don't we get your water tested for baseline? I know that Cabot did that with almost everybody in Demick in the area that's affected. They all have baseline testing paid for by Cabot. But I don't like this whole thousand foot. Who picks the arbitrary number? And you'd think they'd drill, they would pick a further away number from that hole than 1,000 feet. Really, that's only going to be one person on that property where they're drilling. It's not nothing to do with anybody else. That's pretty scary to me, but I just want to be safe. I'm not against the industry. I drive car, fly, and airplanes and everything else. But if a problem happens, clean it up because none of us want to be, um, you know, thinking back at this and going, wow, that's, uh, no matter how much money I make from my well on my property or near my property, if my home value goes from 300000 or 200000 to zero, that all that money's doing is paying me back for value I used to have. It. So that, that's not going to help me at all. Not only that, that, we're the ones that have to live here. Our children have to grow up here. You got to think of the future. The new law um, that goes into effect April 16th is 2,500 feet. Okay. And most of those wells are more than 2,500 feet away from any home. Mm -hmm. Right. Now, yeah, so here's, feet here's what I'm noticing is the, of the well, drilled wells. wells that are drilled. Most of the homes, the houses around don't have any. Depuse especially. Depuse is on top of the mountain. What is the closest? It's, it's more than 2,500 foot to a house. Do anything. Exactly. Yeah. You know it. Yeah, so 
And what I've been noticing is when after these wells are drilled, it seems like the ones that have the right around don't have an issue. It's, it's, and it's not even a quarter mile, it, it starts to become about a mile away, is what, is what I'm starting to find. Carter Road started, uh, Carter Road started up from a well up the hill, and it had migrated clear down to the bottom of the hill. And who knows, it may still be migrating, you know? And these people, they, they've been fighting it three years. We're not going to go that far. Well, I have a question. Why are we bringing it here to Franklin Township? Maybe we should have a meeting as citizens. We should all get together and try to get together as a solid force, all of us. Mm -hmm. Who's going to listen, who's listen to people when you can have townships come in and say, hey, we got a problem? Houston, well, I mean, have them with that. Exactly. We need to get together, too. Mm -hmm. as, a, as a united force. As of, as of yet, nobody's seeing it in shallow drilled walls. Just to be cool. like it. Every company I've dealt with was nice enough to call me a partner. Chesapeake, Laser, we're partners. Looks like until you have a problem, and then the partnership is severed because there is no more partnership. And I'm hoping that's not the case with uh, with Williams because I am now a partner with you on my pipeline, but, mm -hmm. but with the pipeline side, not the WPX side, that may change because I heard about drilling going on in the area where Chesapeake's mine, mine might be. We don't know who we're going to end up with, but I want them all to be good partners. If we if we invited them here by signing documents to invite them here happily, because we all thought it was going to bring the good commerce and everything, which it still is, um, we also want to make sure that partnership, just like a marriage, a partnership is good times and bad times. So if things get bad, we want to make sure that people aren't running for the hills instead of getting the problem solved. That's all I, that's all I have to say as a neighbor. And we work very hard. At, at being partners and being good community Perfect. neighbors and with integrity and efforts. I, I would have to say just one word because now I'm your partner on the pipeline. Prove it. That's all. That's all I can say. Well, I'm not your partner on the pipeline. Well, the, the other, the other part of your company is. Just we prove split. it. We split. We split. We're just separate. Show, show us. The, that's the all difference. we need. Okay. You, yeah, thank you. you. Mm -hmm. That's all we need. Is we need uh, somebody to <laughs> say that they're going to investigate and continue on and not just drop. Yeah, right, thank you. I will be calling my folks tomorrow. And, I, and I'm sure there will be contact with me to make sure that they are. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Thank you. Thank you. I'm just trying to let you know there could be a potential problem, man. I'm not saying stop drilling, but. No, I understand. Thank you. Make a motion to adjourn. Any other public comment?